What's up? It's January 27th, 2018. Happy New Year. Uh, I haven't recorded too much of anything recently because, well, it's cold in New Jersey. I was away for two weeks and I've been sick for a while. So here I am at the end of my sixth season, hopefully, and jumping back into the Subaru disassemble. So today I'm going to be hopefully removing the dash at least get as far as removing most of the dash so here I am sitting in a 1999 Subaru Legacy as you can see I have the glove box out here it is right here it's honestly just a bunch of Phillips and I think yeah a 10 millimeter so we're gonna continue on the removal process. First, I'm going to start over here. Okay, so you definitely want to keep your OBD connector here. We're going to have to pop that out. I'm not sure of how much or what else we're keeping in here, but we'll figure that out later. Alright, I removed the plastics shroud that go around the steering column and right now what I'm gonna do is take the two bolts and hold it up they're right underneath here I believe they're 10 millimeters so let's start with that Uh, now we're back here in the dark and I'm trying to get this steering column out but I'm not having any luck so I'm starting to take the radio out first I took this panel out which is only two screws underneath this compartment here two Phillips head you lift it up there's a bunch of connections for the uh, heated seats, the wiper, panel here. A little blank. Just pull that up, disconnect the wires. It's pretty uh, self explanatory. And then I pried this off for the radio face, and now there is. This is going to be kind of hard to do. Uh, uh, That sucks. And this should slide right out. Should. Should, should, should. Or... Maybe that's not part of the radio. Do we need... Ooh, there's some more. There's another Phillips head back in the back here. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, wrong screwdriver. Where are we at? We're going to go in behind the radio here. Because I need my light. Okay. Let's see what this does. Shit. Yeah, it's not... All right, so there's a total of six screws holding the radio in. This is the Subaru weather band receiver radio. Um, I'm sure other models are slightly different. They might take special tools. This one's actually pretty easy once you get the panel off. 
and are able to access the six Phillips head. This should be able to slide right out. So, put this down. There we are. I hope my shifter. Uh. Slight difficulties here. Put this out now. A little electrical nectar here, and that is for your emergency light. Oh, that was easy to unplug. Cool. Four more screws. We'll take these out. And that takes this whole control panel out. I should disconnect this stuff now, probably. Probably not that hard. <coughs> <coughs> Healthy. Ugh. All right, so I was able to get the control unit out. Also, along with that, the radio, which is pretty pretty easy just an antenna plug which is you just push right in and then here's the main radio sorry this is a little tricky here's the main radio plug they don't allow you much access maybe for theft reasons but that's a pretty tight squeeze you gotta I got rid of the control unit first that way I can get my hand down up top in order to disconnect the plug here I just kind of the plugs from the control unit this is the hot and cold lever control cable. <coughs> and I'm going to cut out here tonight. So maybe next time I should be able to at least get the dash off. Alright, what's up? It is February 3rd and I'm back here doing, continuing the removal of the dash. So, so far, I know last session was pretty dark, so I'll be able to see a little bit better now. But right now, here we are. Radio, all the climate controls are out, panels are out. Next step is getting the center console piece out, cluster, and hopefully we'll be able to... Actually, I think there's three more screws on top. I'll go through a little bit more, and then once we have that should be able to remove the dash so let's get busy okay so I lied it was four screws just for the cover right here pretty easy to take apart just pull those four screws out then you got one two three four up there to take the cluster out all right so as you can see there is four plugs total that I pulled out you got one over here center there's, there's four put that off to the side this way now we can access this panel and see if there's any screws in here there's the plugs from the panel. That's a piece of plastic. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, next, what I like to do oops, is up here, up against the windshield, pry this piece of plastic up. There's probably some bolts over there. There you go. And you pull that out. And look at that. You got one bolt. I don't know. Can we see it? Yep. One there. And one there. Okay, so it's. Alright, so the two 10 millimeter bolts up by the windshield. 
Mm -hmm. And we'll go get a long extension or multiple extensions. And okay, so I missed a couple screws behind the glove box. I think this one up here and here and here appear like they all are part of this dash assembly. So let's take those out. They look like they're 10 millimeter and they are. Right, right now I'm popping the center console out and all you have to do is pry up on this center piece here pull the bezel around the shifter and then all you gotta do is pry on the sides here and get this out first then you have some screws here get two screws here to get this whole piece out as one assembly without breaking <laughs> like I did so it looks like one two four all right let's take this out plus you also have three screws down inside your little compartment holder here All right, so once you get those four bolts out of the way for the center console, you just pull that. And I didn't think it was gonna be necessary to do, but it is because you have two studs down in here with some 10 millimeter nuts on. One on this side and one on this side over here that attaches that frame. Okay, so after fighting for about 10 minutes here, I noticed it was kind of tight on top. So what I did, I checked underneath the glove box here, and you can't really see, but you're gonna get two, three more, I think that's actually two. Just take the two bolts out, they're up top in here, and I think they hold the airbag in. So this should all come out as one unit now. Let's see. Aha, there we go the glove section let's go to the other side here take this out oh yeah look at that oh we're still caught up on something that's not good what we got oh looks like all these wires maybe i'll just shove these through here maybe i'm supposed to come with it So close. <laughs> Antenna. This looks like speaker wire to the radio. And the ground for that. Right there. There we have it. All right, so the dash took about, I'd say almost close to three hours to remove. And um, if I wasn't filming, probably would have took a little less, but I wanted to document everything just so, at least most of it. But um, next is moving on to the wire and harness and the structural bar. So here we, uh, we begin. This should, I don't even know how long this is gonna take. But it is February 10th, and I am currently sitting in my 99 Subaru in the rain, as you can see. So I'm taking advantage of the rain, and I'm going to 
embark on this journey of removing the wiring harness. Um, it looks like I have to take the structural bar out, which is some bolts over here, some bolts on the other side attached to the body, and some bolts here, which looks like some tamper-proof bolts that hold the airbag control unit in. And it looks like I have to move all this to pull the whole harness out. I can't see anything. So first, I think we need to locate the ECU, which if I'm not mistaken, it's located under the carpet on the passenger side. Ow. Under here, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so in this little protective kick panel, there's five 10 millimeter bolts. I think three bolts, two nuts. Pull that out. And there it is. Where's the ECU? This is the brain. Alright, so I took the three nuts out that hold the ECU in. That's pretty self explanatory. And here it is. Now, to disconnect all this stuff. Oh, geez. Okay. So on this 99 ECU, you have a little lever here. And we want to do is swing that around and that unlatches the pin connector and it should come right out there it is there's your ECU put that in a safe spot let me get these out but now next you want to take all these little 10 millimeter bolts out that hold this whole the heater core assembly. There's another one. There's probably a couple down below. But we'll start taking these out. These are going to require a long. I've been using a short socket, but you're going to need a long socket for these bolts or these nuts, I should say. There's that harness. I don't think we need that. Okay, so since I was going through this not cutting any wires, I basically bought everything out. These wires right here that branch off and go down or actually go to your headlights. So we're going to cut that. Right here. Okay, so here's the harness for the battery cable. There's the battery hot coming from the battery. 
That's that harness. All right, so behind me here is the engine harness, and this is where the surgery will take place. Removing all the shielding, all the tape, cut any wire that's not needed, and bring it down to length so I can fit it in the van. So I'm gonna end this video here. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, see you next time. Peace out.